it's the tides changing here and welcome to another sims 4 speed build today i'm making a house that i've called bluestone and the reason why i gave it this name is that all over the exterior of the house i used the stone tile wallpaper that came with spa day and i used blue as an accent color so uh, yeah that's how the name came about i just wasn't sure what to call it so i just looked at it and saw the bluestone tile and i was like okay there we go bluestone this house is another one for my Let's Play, so it was made with a budget in mind, and the budget I had for this house was about 40,000 simoleons, and I had a lot that I wanted to do with those 40,000 simoleons. Like, I wanted to have a really nice looking house, I was two floors with a hot tub and a pool and nice looking furniture, and I definitely set my sights a bit too high and wasn't able to do everything that I wanted to, but I think I still did get a pretty good looking house, but at the point where I used all the 40,000, all the 40,000 simoleons, I wasn't really happy with how the exterior looked. So I saved the house at that point so I could use that version of it in my Let's Play, and then I could, I gave myself another 10 to 15,000 simoleons to work with, and made the landscaping more so how I wanted it to look. So on the gallery, there are two versions of this house. There's the, I think it was like 43,000 simoleon version. Um, that's the one I'll be using in my Let's Play. And then there's a, I think about 55,000 million version that has a hot tub and a pool and a little bit nicer landscaping. So even the the 55,000 million version is still pretty budget friendly. But yeah, I didn't want to use money cheats in my Let's Play, which is why I'm just using the 43,000 million version in it. Those of you who watch my base game Let's Play probably already figured this out. But the sims that this house is for are named CJ and Skyla, and they have two twin sons named Spencer and Lucas, and they really needed a bigger house because before they were living in a lofty start, which was the first speed build that I did for the sims 4, and for a family of four that house just did not cut it, and I was getting kind of sick of seeing that house and using it in the let's play, so I just really wanted something new. The reason why I went for a modern style with this house is that CJ and Skyla both have a materialistic trait, so I felt like a sort of flashy looking modern home would suit them better than some traditional suburban cookie cutter kind of a house. And that's also why I was hoping to be able to afford a pool and a hot tub with that money. And also because Lily and Brian, who are another couple in the Let's Play, because I have like four households I'm playing in the series, um, they I built a house for them recently. It was the Garden Ranch one and they have a pool. So I could kind of imagine CJ and Skyla looking at that and being like wanting to one-up them and be like, well, we have a pool and a hot tub. But with a bit of playing, I should be able to afford that pool and hot tub. Both of them are pulling in a good bit of money and CJ also has a maxed out programming skill. So I can just have him make some viruses and apps on the side to be able to get that money. Getting on to what's actually going on in the speed build. At this point, the whole structure of the house is done as well as the roofing and the windows and doors. So right now I'm just making a few tweaks to how the exterior looks just to make sure everything looks right. And with this house, I didn't have a complete idea of what I wanted to do with it going into it. Like I knew what I wanted for parts of it. Like for example, I knew what I wanted in the back of the house with the two decks. Like the one coming off of what's going to be the living area and that's the one on the left side. And then the other one on the right side which is a deck coming off of the master bedroom. And I knew I wanted to have those, and then in between those I wanted to have a pool, so I had stairs going off of both those decks down to a central pool area. I just thought that would really look really nice, so I had that in mind, and then everything else I just went in and worked out as I went on with building the house. Uh, but right now I'm moving on to doing the floor plan, so everything's pretty open on the first floor except for where the master bedroom and bathroom is, and then on the... Second floor, there's another bathroom as well as two bedrooms for the kids and a small common area that you could put some skill building items in. So that's pretty much it for the floor plan. And uh, I did look down here. So originally the area, like as you walk in, was supposed to be the living room. But then I looked at it and I realized that it would be very difficult to fit a couch and a TV in there. So I then realized that that whole area on the left side of the house would have to be like the kitchen, dining, and living area. So. I did pull it backwards a bit to make it a little bit longer because it would have been very cramped as it was now. And I think I do pull it back a little bit further. Maybe that's it. I think that might actually be how I leave it. So yeah, that is. So now moving on to back out to the exterior of the house and I did change all the windows to white because the brown just looked a little bit odd. I was trying to do something different, have brown windows, but it just, it, it didn't look quite right. So I did just go to the all white. 
Now we're moving on to the exterior wall coverings and there's the blue stone that this house was named after. First I was going to go for the brick that looks like it's painted over but then I just went with all spa day tile on the walls just because I really want to try those out. I like the nice sleek I guess look they have. So the color scheme of the exterior of the house is just blue, gray, and white. And I didn't realize this till after I finished this house but it's actually very similar to the previous house they had. Uh, Cause that house was all blue and white but I really do like the color scheme. The walls that came with spa day also look really nice and I think they're going to be very useful. I did have a lot of fun making this house. I don't do modern homes too often, normally I stick to more of a family home, traditional kind of a style, but I would really like to do a larger home in this sort of style in the future where I didn't have to worry about a budget, because when you're working with a budget in mind, you can't be quite as creative with the landscaping and the furnishing. So I would love to just be able to do a build in the style where I didn't have to worry about what I was using, could just do whatever I want. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a modern build without a budget. I think the last one was Honeymoon Hideaway, which was done like five months ago. And even then, that was a smaller build, so I haven't really... I don't think I've done a large modern home, like completely myself in The Sims 4 yet. I think that all the modern... most of the modern homes I've done have been collabs that other people built and I furnished, so that is on my list of things I want to do. I'm not sure when I'll do it because I just have so many different builds that I wanted to do. Something that I did want to try to do was make builds to fill up as many of the lots in Newcrest as I could. I don't know if I would be able to actually fill up Newcrest as I do take my sweet old time with builds, but I want to at least try it out. I know some other people have done that and there's the block party challenge where you're supposed to fill up an empty world. I just think it'd be really fun to do. And I wanted to make the builds for it more budget friendly, like have starter homes and homes that were on a 30,000 small budget, 40,000, 50,000, and so on, and then also some homes that are higher end. And I just wanted to make them more playable and homes that you could actually move your sims up through if you're playing without cheats. I did actually get a start on it, so I have a starter home that is pretty much done. The speed bill for that should be up next weekend, and after that I want to try to create a spa and gym for Newcrest. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to fill it up, but I'll give it a shot. You know, we'll see how it goes over time. But uh, at this point, the kitchen slash dining area is pretty much done. That spa day wallpaper worked so well as a backsplash in the kitchen, and from now on, I'm probably going to be using spa day wallpapers in just about all of my kitchens because they just work so well for it. Like it was exactly what I was looking for to use as a backsplash. But now moving on to the living room, and I do like how the living room turned out, and overall I like the furnishing of this house. It's simple because of the whole budget thing, but it still does look really nice, and in the living room I went for kind of an odd layout. So rather than having the couch on one side of the room and then the TV on the opposite side, I just stuck the TV diagonally in the corner, and then out the couch diagonal as well facing it. I just felt like that was a much more interesting way to arrange it, also made it so you didn't have a ton of empty space right in the middle of the room. It also made it so I could use the wall to put some stuff on, like I do have a reading nook over on that wall in a little bit. I think it also makes the living room feel a bit cozier because the couch and the TV and everything's really close to each other instead of being just all the way across the room. I did revisit the rug that was underneath the dining room table because I wasn't quite feeling the electric blue anymore and I chose a lighter color and then because I chose a lighter color I thought well maybe I should use a different rug in the living room because it was the same rose one. So I tried out this more traditional one, which wasn't what I would normally go for in a modern home, and I thought about changing it because of how traditional it looks, but then I kept it because I was like, you know what, you gotta just try something different. Sometimes traditional and modern can mix together and look really nice, and I actually do like it. Uh, but now moving out to what is supposed to be the entrance area. It was gonna be the living room, but I ended up realizing that it's a pretty useless space because of the doors, but I mean, if, if you move into this and your sims get more money, you can always stick some skill building stuff in there. I also put some shoe racks in the doorway, and then I tried to do kind of an interesting thing with overlapping the mirrors to make it look a little bit nicer than just having a single mirror by itself, and I really do like that. I think I'm going to try that in other homes. But now we're moving on to the master bedroom, and I stuck a pool in first because I was like, okay, we gotta make sure I get the pool in which unfortunately left me with 12,000 smolings to furnish the master bedroom bathroom and the bathroom and two bedrooms upstairs which did not end up working out well. But I do really like how the master bedroom turned out. 
This bedroom has a black, orange, and light blue color scheme, which I do really like. It's something I want to try again. So how that came about was I placed down the rug and then I wanted to have wall colors that coordinated with it, but I felt like orange all over the wall was way too overwhelming. So then I thought that some of that light blue mixed in would look really nice. And then I did put in a painting that was from the Show Hidden Objects cheat. So that cheat is bb.showhiddenobjects, but I used those paintings in a couple of places because they're really nice. But they are cheaper, so they're handy for builds like this that are a bit more budget conscious. And I think that when you download the house, it should still be in there. Um, I think it did. I downloaded a few lots that had the, those objects in there and they downloaded fine. So I think now it works, but that's it for the bedroom. It was actually really, really quick to furnish. And the furnishing throughout this whole house went by really quick just because of how simple it was and that this wasn't a very large house. I did use the spa day floor in this bathroom as well as the other one, and I kept things pretty simple in here. For the walls, I went with a light purple color with some brick accent, which um, I think looks pretty nice. I don't use purple too often. I was trying to use colors I don't normally use too often in this house. Also threw in a nice bright rug to put in some extra color, as well as that accent table from spa day in front of the window. I wasn't able to put as much on it as I wanted, and at first I wasn't going to put blinds on. But then I was like, well, this is a bathroom with huge windows at the front of the house, so I probably should do that, even if it doesn't really matter. Um, but we're already on to the top floor. I didn't put a hole on here, just a chair for the kids, as well as a nice big stuffed animal. And uh, for the bathroom, I did pretty much the same thing I did with the master one with the purple walls and the cheapest plumbing. So I got through this one pretty quickly. It's pretty much just about done. I was thinking about putting a rug in, but... It was small, so I figured it didn't really need it, plus it also saved money because, as you can see at this point, there's less than 3,000 smolings left to furnish the two bedrooms and do all the landscaping. Uh, so, at this point I knew that definitely wasn't going to work, so I kept things very simple with the bedrooms. There's not really a whole lot in them. This one's supposed to be Lucas's, and I used that dinosaur bed that I never used, and I never used that one before because I always had trouble figuring out the wall paint colors, but I did just use a blue on the wall that's kind of similar to the blue on the bed, as well as a berry color that coordinates with the more mauve berry kind of a color that's on the bed. I think berry is what you would call that, or maybe it's just mauve. I'm not exactly sure, but I really do like that color combination, and I think it goes really well with that bed. So this is just about it for this bedroom. It's, it's pretty empty, there's not a whole lot in it, but over time it can always be filled in more. And now moving on to what is supposed to be Spencer's bedroom. So for his, I just went with that blue bed and then just made everything else kind of coordinate with it. So we've got some dark blue on the walls as well as some brick. And I wanted to have a different color on that wall, so I was trying to figure out a color that kind of went with what was on the bed. So I went with that greenish blue, which I think actually looks really nice together with the darker blue. And he's got a little play area right there as well as a dresser that has a few toys on it. So that's pretty much it for this room and also for the whole interior of the home. At this point I only had 793 smolings left to landscape the whole yard which just wasn't going to cut it so unfortunately I had to say goodbye to the pool and my hopes of them having a pool right off the bat because they're expensive like that dinky little pool was almost 2,000 smolings. It was ridiculous so yeah I was pretty sad to say goodbye to it. I was I was trying you know I was hoping I wouldn't have to but then I put that oak tree in and I just realized all the other Plants are going to be way too expensive, so yeah, there goes the pool, and I just filled it in with the same kind of gravel-type ground cover that I had. I put another tree back there. So that did give me enough money to decently landscape the whole yard, but unfortunately I wasn't able to buy the furniture I wanted for the, for the decks. Like, I wanted to have the hot tub on there, and I also wanted to have some of the, like, the couch set that came with perfect patio stuff, but it just wasn't going to fit, but... I did get a couple of trees out in the front to make it look a little bit more shaded and nice and I wasn't able to use the plants I really wanted just because I had to use very cheap plants because some of them can cost a couple hundred smolings or more each so I ended up using some of the ones that came with Outdoor Retreat because they are cheaper although they weren't really the kind of plants I wanted to go with for this yard. But I did what I had to in order to make it look decent without going over the amount of money they had so I think that's... That's pretty much it for the landscape in the front yard. I just really wasn't able to stick a whole lot in there. And then I also wasn't able to put a whole lot in the back there. So um, I think I just put, yeah, I put another tree in the back to give it a little, to make it look a little bit more filled out. 
After that, I put in a few plants beside the deck here, and once those plants are in, we have the version of the house that I'll be using in the Let's Play, because at this point, the whole budget's pretty much gone. So I did do a save as here, and then I also saved this version of the house to the gallery, and just gave myself some more money and just kept going with it. So yeah, this is the point where I gave myself another 10,000 simoleons to work with, and put the pool back in, and also stuck that lotus floor light in the bottom of it, which came with Spa Day. I think it looks pretty nice. And I also used the tile, one of the tiles that came with Spa Day, because I thought that looked a little bit nicer than was there originally. And it is more expensive, which is why I didn't use it in the other version. And here I'm putting in some of the lights back into the pool and also changing the walls, so it's something a little different than the blue that originally is. I kept going with this house even after the budget ran out because I didn't want the only version of it up on the gallery to be one with the decks empty and just an empty space where the pool was supposed to be in a mostly empty yard and also without having the plants that I felt better suited the house. So I just thought it'd be nice to keep going with it and have two versions of it depending on what your sims needs are. And I didn't change anything with the interior of the house because I like the interior and I also still wanted this to be an affordable house. That's pretty much it for the furniture that's on the deck, so right now I'm just doing a little bit of landscaping and also putting in a low fence to border the pool so it's a little bit more separated from the yard. I also wanted to put in a jungle gym for the kids with a stone path going to it, and what I'm doing here is I'm making the stone stand out a little bit more but then erasing the ones that slightly show up. I felt like that would look a little bit more realistic like the stones were on top and not partially covered in grass. I also thought a bonfire pit would be a nice touch as well, so I just stuck that in there underneath the tree with four chairs next to it and then realized I should probably center the path in front of the pool. One change I did make to the interior was putting blinds on all the windows in the bedrooms. I figured I should at least do that and I gave myself a little bit more money to work with, so I gave myself another 5,000 millions and then changed up the landscaping just because I really didn't like how the outdoor tree plants looked and I just I figured I should just put in the plants I felt really soothed a lot so I did make that one tree a little bit smaller um, rather than having the two oak trees also adding some extra detail with a terrain paint all over the yard like adding some more darker grasses and lighter grasses and swapping out the tree in the front there so for a while I just replaced a bunch of the plants and put it more so how I want to and I think that does make it look quite a bit better. Since we are almost at the end of the building part, I do want to mention that I will have links to both versions of this house in the description below. And if you want to find it in the game, you could just search for Blue Stone. Uh, you can also use the hashtag the tides changing because I do put that hashtag on all my lots, so that's one way to find it. And in case you didn't know, my origin ID is the tides changing, just like my channel name here. Right now I'm just finishing up with the landscaping in the front yard, so I do go to the backyard and of course replace those plants, just put in ones that fit in a little bit better, and I actually added plants into the other side near where the hot tub was. After that, the last thing that I did was cover both the decks, and since that's just about it, I'm going to leave off here. I hope you all have a lovely weekend and enjoy the rest of this video.